Welcome back to Unbox Therapy. Um, I'm on my new rug from Reagan. And today we got my new eBay purchase for the Jetta. It cost a whopping $200 for these nice coilovers. I think they're RSK maybe? I don't know. I heard all right things. I mean, it's a beater car. I don't really give a shit. And the strut's blown, so I figured instead of buying another $50 boring stock strut, I would get uh, some cheap shitty coilovers. And I'm just going to drive it to like my 10 mile drive to work or something. Maybe if I feel brave, I'll drive it a couple hours. Well, they look dope. I've never owned coilovers. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it comes with everything you need except, you know, the strut mounts. Um, it's just got the uh, notch at the top here that you put a adjustable wrench on yeah on the other strut like the broke stock one I have there's a C clip or something in here that was missing so like it was just riding on completely spring and the strut was just going up and down and like lifting the whole trunk area got the back two here and the front two here so yeah, these things are pretty heavy. They feel sturdy for $200 eBay parts, but we'll see how they go in. I just jacked up the car on all fours and took all the wheels off. So right now we're starting on the backs and we're just doing um, the two nuts on here and then the one bolt on the bottom to drop it. You're only supposed to do one strut at a time or the rear beam won't sit right. To start this job you gotta take off it's two 17 nuts. Uh, Ryan already took that side apart so we're starting over there. You're going to need like an adjustable or some vice grips to hold the strut from spinning. Do it while I stand on it. Wait, I got... Uh, Alright, you can get down. I think. Alright, we got the strut and spring out. Just trying to figure out what ride height to do here. Uh, this is about what came in the box, but I might just do like halfway. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, grab it on this side, we already put the coil over in most of the way. But, you know, it sits shorter, obviously. Uh, Ryan just put the camber bolt in. And you have to lift the rear beam since it's one piece to get it up into that housing again. So we're just going to take the other side out anyway because you can still put the camber bolt in the back. Here's what's wrong with the, the strut. That's why I'm changing it. This is the C clip that's supposed to, you know, stop it from shooting through the top. It just moves. So both coilovers are in. So. We're just jacking this up and lining it up in here. Mine's pretty much in there. I don't go too much first. Oh yeah, this one's snug. Dude, this thing's gonna be fucking slammed. Yeah. <laughs> Look how high the fucking things are. And that's without any fucking weight on the coil still. 
I don't know what to do. I mean, I can't make it one's different. There's like fucking three inch drop or some shit. The fucking beams already on the exhaust. <laughs> the exhaust is just gonna travel as one thing now. At least it won't rattle. Just it might. In it. it might rattle. I don't think we get a hole. It'll just bend. All right. So I guess we're gonna count threads now and kind of see what the ride height is gonna be like. All right. We got both coilovers in. Uh. The mounts up top are tightened, and now we're just counting threads here to see, I guess, where we want it to sit. So right now we're taking off the gas tank protector. Um, I'm going to just angle grind that part off over there and then put it back on, probably, because it rubbed stock, so I think it'll rub like this. Um, and there's pretty good space that around set behind the there. You look retarded. Huh? Said so you look retarded. Safety first. So haggard. That's pretty clean. Here's the uh, clearance we're working with now. Quite a bit better. So we put all the four wheels back on and kind of tested for clearance, taking the e-brake off, and they still roll all right in the back. Uh, we're on the rear beam right now with this low profile jack and took the jack stands out so we're going to try and put it down. It's Maybe there. not. Oh, we cleared. How does it sit? How does it sit? <laughs> this is pretty dope. <laughs> still kind of gapped. I mean, I don't want to lower it more yet. It could rub. This is bouncy as hell, dude. <laughs> it's 200 bucks, man. <laughs> Jesus, I thought it was going to be stiff. So we just went and took a trip to Harbor Freight to get an impact and impact sockets because these uh, just spin of course because the strut and we don't have the specialty tool to uh, take them off without because you gotta put the allen key in there and turn this so my dad had a setup where he like trim this into a square where you could put an adjustable on it and then put the allen through it but we don't have either of that so impact reverse right? Eh? yeah strong yeah yeah this song is good dude huh? You see the fucking Mary Austin there, man? Yeah. Look at that Brian Emanuel dude. Easy as fuck. So, what we've done here is take out these two camber bolts on the stock one and now we took off the uh, one here for the brake mount so Ryan's pulling that out the way should just pull out from the top now hit it with a hammer I got the heavy duty mounts up front, so that's good. Yeah, these things. I upgraded these. This is so much easier than fucking mine. Yeah.
watch out for the brake line and that plastic piece. You don't fucking do this or hold it one or two. Just don't fucking put it on your face. So here's the assembly. That's the uh, nut we took off. And this big cavity goes up top. And then on the underside, you can see there's the light. There's a bearing in here, and uh, sits like this on the old spring seat. And we use the old spring seat on this side because uh, it fits better in the bushing. It doesn't fit as good in the spring, but the eBay ones don't fit really well. So we're doing this again. How fucking much room it is? Yeah, it's a hell of a lot shorter. So you put the camera bolts back in. Oh, we didn't zip tie the other side yet, did we? The uh, brake plate there doesn't like fit in the new assembly, so we're gonna zip tie it. Cause why not? And you have to set the camber here manually because you're gonna take it to a shop after and align it, of course. Or maybe not. But yeah, it's up to you how much camber you wanna run now. And you're just gonna put a jack under here and lift it up to uh, get it through here and tighten it again. And we just, we're just gonna use an impact and it's fast enough. So we got this tightened. We just used one of the new nuts without Loctite and hit it with the impact and kind of lowered and raised the steering knuckle. Uh, this part here, you gotta set your own camber, like I said. We're just kind of eyeballing it, because $200, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna run blue zip ties to match the springs here and hold the brake cable on. Very nice. Almost wheel time. Uh, we're just measuring and counting threads to get the sides equal. All right, we're trying to lower the front end from the K frame here. I don't know if the lip is gonna hit. It probably will, because it's really low hanging. Raise it up, we'll put the tires on blocks. What, the little jack? All right, we're gonna get the second jack out. Here's the front fitment, and it looks totally nice. I don't know if I'm going to have to raise it or what, but it's a little stiffer up here. Wheels are flat though, they're tires, I'm going to pump those up and jump it. What are your thoughts? Let's see the nerves on your face. Close your door. And just take it real slow. Hold on. We gotta raise it. <laughs> this garage is screwing our lowness. We just want to be low. Here. We were at one and a half inches here, so we're going up an inch. I was thinking earlier that I got hung up on this uh, exhaust brace here, but who knows? The engine was pretty low too. I, I obviously didn't hit on that, but it's just kind of scary. So we're going up like an inch right now. So we're got to use two jacks again to get this. Lip to clear. Okay. We're just using the pinch welds here. Here's the new fitment. We're not tucking anymore, but 
it looks pretty good. This side looks lower than that side, if anything. The exhaust might hit that brace or something. I don't, we'll give it a go. Well, we're done here pretty much. This car is usably low. Um, we keep having to jack it up on the pinch weld now, which isn't right, but you can't reach the rear beam anymore. But the only thing, we just took it for a test drive around this place. There's no rubbing at all, the exhaust doesn't hit anymore. Uh, the only problem is that a uh, heat shield I cut is flopping around and we're just going to take it out and then we'll be good.